morning, everyone. Um, welcome back to our 2 Corinthians Bible Reflection. Um, hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, it's winter. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think... When does spring come? July? <laughs> or hopefully April? Um, yeah, anyway, luckily there's a little snow to play in. Could use a little more. Looks like it's coming this weekend. Um, anyway, school's going back next week. Excited about that. So... Yeah. Okay. Here we are. Chapter four. Let's just, let's do this. So uh, we're going to do four, one through six. It says, therefore, since it is by God's mercy that we are engaged in this ministry, we do not lose heart. We have renounced the shameful things that one hides. We refuse to practice cunning or to falsify God's word, but by open statement of the truth, we commend ourselves to the conscience of everyone in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves. We proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who, for it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. So again, Paul here is just kind of summarizing his ar his argument over the past couple chapters about why he's doing this, like like who he is, like reminding them. He's like, I'm not doing this for personal gain. I'm not doing this to lord it over people. I don't have any you know, nefarious motives or, 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 or whatever. He's like, I'm, this is, this is what I'm called to do. I'm called to preach the gospel of Christ. And if it seems veiled, it's only veiled to those who are perishing. Like, I mean, he's like, if it seems too simple, then people are taking it way, way too far, or, or, or they're trying to heap complicating matters on things and something that's just so beautiful and pure. And again, he, he keeps redirecting attention away from himself and to Christ. He's like, come on, like, I'm not, I'm not, this is, there's no, like, suspicious motivation behind this. I'm not trying to be cunning. I'm not trying to flatter or, or do anything or boast or do anything like that, except for Christ's sake. He's like, this is not personal. This is not personal gain. This is simply the ministry to which I've been called and which he is so passionate about so you know there's just such a you know paul obviously throughout all of his writings he's he's very willful you know he's hard-headed and but he's also very passionate about reaching as many people as he can with the gospel with this hope in christ and so he's you know you can just kind of tell you know through first corinthians and now second corinthians is it's just like He's like, ah, like I wish you guys just got it. It's like I've taught you all you need to know. I, I've loved you. I've served you. I've been. I, I'm a slave for you. I'm a slave to Christ. Like this is, there is no earthly or worldly motivation here. This is all from God, for Christ, for you. So I mean, hopefully, you know when I when I think about kind of leadership and, 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 and being a pastor, this is this is kind of the the motivation for me, or this is the kind of thing I try to encompass is this, you know, it's not about me, it's about the gospel, it's about Christ, it's about making sure that people know the message of hope that we have, of making sure that all of you know that, that 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 God walks with us, that Christ is with us, that that there's there's like there's not eternal disappointment or anything from God when we slip up or make mistakes or maybe don't do our best. There's always compassion and grace and forgiveness, this kind of welcoming, calling us back to to enter into this this life that is truly life, the one walked with Christ, with God, loving 
each other loving our neighbors and and it's it's as simple as that love the lord your god love your neighbor as yourself and so paul again he just he tries to get people back to that truth over and over again so yeah okay well tomorrow we'll do uh seven through 15 actually no we'll do seven through 18 uh and we'll kind of wrap up chapter four so um yeah, let's uh, close the word of prayer here. Good and gracious God, give us pure hearts and pure motivations in the lives that we live to to reach out and love, to serve others to the best of our ability, and to be just comforted by your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, take care, and we will see you all tomorrow.